Very good afternoon. This is the midday news on Rajya Sabha Television. All the developing news stories at the top of this are coming up ahead. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor, and here are the headlines. Nations supporting and funding terrorism must be called out. Assert's Prime Minister Modi at the SCO summit underscores importance of people-to-people -people connect, which is for better economic ties with the SCO countries. On the sidelines of the summit, a Prime Minister holds delegation-level talks with the President of Belarus, bilateral meetings with the top leadership of Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia and Iran, Inauguration of India-Kyrgyzstan Business Forum scheduled later today. Medical services affected in Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh as doctors protest spearheads across India. Medical fraternity is demanding a better security after two doctors were assaulted in Kolkata. Chaired by Amit Shah, crucial BJP national office bearers party meet underway in capital. Key decisions on organizational elections likely. BJP decides to launch a membership drive to increase member base by 20%. And in the ICC World Cup cricket, host England to take on West Indies at Southampton today. Rain had forced Team India to split a point with New Zealand after match was washed out yesterday at Nottingham. Top stories from Bishkek where Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reiterated that countries supporting, funding, aiding and abetting terrorism must be held accountable. In his uh, plenary address at the ongoing SCO summit a short while ago, Prime Minister Narendra Modi stressed on the importance of people-to-people -people connect and cooperation between the SCO member nations in the fight against terrorism. He said that India is standing for peace, development and connectivity in the region. <laughs> Thank you. 
अनुकूल वातावरण बनाने पर तेजी से काम करने के लिए प्रतिबद्ध है आज हम महत्वपूर्ण समझौतों पर हस्ताक्षर करने जा रहे हैं इनसे एससीओ में द्वितीय वित्तीय मामलों में और डिजिटलाइजेशन और आईसीटी में सहयोग मजबूत होगा एक पर अल्टरनेट एनर्जी जलवायु परिवर्तन से निपटने के लिए भारत की प्रतिबद्धता हमारे दर्शन में निहित है जो पृथ्वी को माता के रूप में मानते हैं आज भारत अक्षय ऊर्जा का छठा और सौर ऊर्जा का पांचवा बड़ा उत्पादक है अंतरराष्ट्रीय सौर संगठन भारत के संयुक्त तो पहल है इसका उद्देश्य और ऊर्जा की लागत कम करने के लिए प्रौद्योगिकी और वित्त जुटाना है हम इस पहल में के देशों को का स्वागत करते हैं और ऊर्जा के वैकल्पिक स्रोतों को विकसित करने में अपना अनुभव साझा करने के लिए तैयार है And our colleague Akhilesh Suman is joining us on the phone line uh, from Bishkek. Uh, he is uh, tracking uh, that SEO summit very, very closely. Akhilesh, we heard Prime Minister Narendra Modi a short while back, and then there was a clear cut message to Pakistan there. Prime Minister of uh, Pakistan, Imran Khan, was seated there. And Prime Minister Modi making it very clear that uh, you know the countries uh, have to come out of their narrow purview really to unite against terrorism. Right, because we you know that uh, this is one of the major issues that is impeding the growth and prosperity of this uh, region, and not only it's the, this region, Central Asian region, but also South Asian region has been impacted, and that is why Prime Minister made a, you know, uh, diff different type of uh, presumption. He has given a acronym of health, and he has made a holistic, uh, you know, five-point program for SEO success. And in that health, you know that uh, there is a fight against terrorism. There is also for economic cooperation. There is also for how to we can cooperate uh, against climate change. How you know uh, health situation? How we can uh, assist once each other in uh, natural disasters? So these are the suggestions given by Prime Minister. And now that uh, SEO will begin its new term under Russian president, so I think the Prime Minister suggestions may be considered. And let us see. Once the final document comes out by the evening, there will be final, final Bishkek, uh, you know, declaration, and there will be joint statement also. So let us see that how things have been cooperated, cooperated. But one thing is very clear, you know, Swarya, that uh, Prime Minister's intervention was positive, yes. and his intervention was based on two things. Hmm. One that uh, these uh, areas are totally related to each other, hmm. and that is why sovereignty of each other nation must be respected. Mm -hmm. In context, she said that while connectivity is very important, connectivity projects should respect the sovereignty issues. And uh, without naming any country, he was signaling to our Chinese CPEC mm -hmm. that uh, CPEC had not taken care of the uh, sovereignty issue of India, mm -hmm. and that is why India had not accept, accepted CPEC. Mm -hmm. Other thing that you know that uh, he is also trying to give a, a idea that how India can help uh, these all nations. Like mm -hmm. India has the capacity in health, uh, India has the capacity in yes. uh, providing a renewable energy. So mm -hmm. all these things have been suggested, and this is the forum when you have time and opportunity to also showcase your own right. achievements and how you can help the federal countries. So I yes. think Prime Minister's intervention was positive in that sense. You know, as well. Absolutely, and uh, also earlier in the day. PM Modi had a pull aside a meeting with the president of Belarus on the margins of the summit and the two countries uh, share the common goals of development and cooperation in the re region and uh, later today PM Modi will hold bilateral talks with Iranian president Hassan Rouhani as well both the leaders are likely to focus on how India and Iran intend to move forward on oil sanctions uh, that have been imposed on Iran by the US and this would be the first time uh, that the two leaders will meet uh, since uh, PM Modi assumed the office of the Prime Minister for the second term and the Prime Minister will also inaugurate the India-Kyrgyz Business Forum along with the President of uh, Kyrgyzstan and uh, will also hold bilateral talks with him. Let's go now across live uh, uh, Akhil, uh, to Akhilesh. Uh, Akhilesh, you're talking about the rest of the events that are slated uh, for the day today. Of course, uh, the main uh, would be uh, the Prime Minister's meeting uh, with the Iranian President and also the inauguration of uh, the Business Forum today. And by Shishma Suraj, Minister of Ocean Affairs of India. 
Mr. Chief Finarian President, and they have many uh, times in last term at various occasions. And India has always been supportive of uh, Iran uh, in the way that sanctions are not the solutions of any uh, situation. So India has never been in the favor of sanctions. And the way India, Iran has one of the major, you know, oil exporters of our country, India has concerns about if uh, Iran uh, uh, situation is not resolved, it will be really detrimental to our own energy security. And uh, now there is another development. A Japanese Prime Minister has uh, uh, taken a mission to talk to Iranian uh, president and Iranian, uh, you know, establishment that how uh, the situation can be resolved. So, you know, the Japanese Prime Minister is very close to Prime Minister Nain Modi and they are very friendly. So I think this is the right opportunity when Prime Minister Nain Modi wants to convey some message to Iranian president that how uh, we can uh, get rid of this, uh, you know, quick situation that how uh, the wild sanctions also can be uh, relaxed in some way or other and how Iranians, uh, you know, sovereignty, self-respect also is uh, respected and other than that, you know, that... Uh, uh, the whole uh, situation of denuclearization uh, can be resolved because Iran had once upon a time uh, was signatory of NPT and then it came out and that is why there is a whole world like Europe and America was against Iran that how it came out yes. and then again it is trying they are trying to you know include in, in some sort of uh, IAEA inspection regular but uh, hmm. uh, recently there has been problems with American side and American feet that that is not enough. So hmm. this is all the conflict. And Prime Minister Nan Modi, you know, actively wants to uh, uh, suggest something to Iranian president, I think. And hmm. as Shankar, as you know, that he is external affairs minister. He has been active diplomat and he has yes. been, uh, you know, uh, very aware of all these issues. So I think this is the right opportunity that hmm. India can help Iran in getting rid of this uh, situation, you know. Yes, all right. Uh, thank you so much, Akhilesh, for all those updates there from Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan. We'll keep coming back to you in the subsequent bulletins. And early on the first day of his visit, PM Modi held a delegation-level talks with the top leadership of Afghanistan, China and Russia on the sidelines of the SCO summit. During a late-night meeting yesterday, PM Modi held bilateral talks with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani. Both leaders discussed ways uh, to bolster the strategic partnership and also the role being uh, played by India towards an inclusive peace process in uh, the conflict-hit nation. Prime Minister Modi earlier also had an excellent meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, where both leaders reviewed all aspects of bilateral relations to further boost the strategic relationship and defense and energy, and also trade and investment ties were the key focus areas during their talks. PM Modi also accepted the invitation extended to him by Putin to be the main guest at the Eastern Economic Forum to be held in Russia in September this year. And the Prime Minister's first meeting yesterday was with Chinese President Xi Jinping, where both leaders discussed the full spectrum of bilateral relations and the role of Pakistan in abetting terrorism was discussed, where India reiterated that Pakistan is not serious about its action against terrorism Prime Minister Modi also applauded China's help in declaring Masood Hazar as a global terrorist. The meeting comes a month after UN Security Council Committee designated Jaish e Mohammed terrorist Masood Hazar as a global terrorist after China lifted its technical hold on the proposal to blacklist him. And briefing the media after the talks, Foreign Secretary Vijay Gokhale confirmed that the Chinese president has accepted Prime Minister Modi's invitation to visit India later this year for an informal summit. हम तय करें तो समय सीमाएं में कितना बड़ा काम कर सकते हैं ये सुधारण अपने प्रस्तुत किया इसके लिए मैं आभारी हूँ और इसके मूल में हमारे दोनों के बीच जो विश्वास और दोस्ती का माहौल बना है तो उसका तो रोल है ही है लेकिन भारत के घनिष्ठ और पुराने मित्र के रूप में रशिया की जो भूमिका है उसका भी बहुत बड़ा रोल है और इसके लिए मैं फिर से एक बार आपका आभार व्यक्त करता हूं ये बात सही है कि हम लोग मिलेंगे आने वाले दिनों में हम पंजाब जापान में भी मिलेंगे और वहां भी मेरा मत है कि हमारा चाइना रशिया इंडिया जो समीप है वो उसको हमने आगे बढ़ाना चाहिए हमारे बीच भी हमारी मुलाकातें बढ़ती रहनी चाहिए President Putin specifically recognized Prime Minister's personal contribution in strengthening this relationship. He mentioned this on more than one occasion. 
He also specifically said that Russia had conferred its highest award, the Order of St. Andrew the Apostle, on our Prime Minister in recognition of this effort and this uh, um, initiative that Prime Minister has taken to develop the relationship with Russia. Both leaders recognize the special significance of the partnership as an important pillar for stability in the world of the future. And there was an understanding that this partnership, this relationship is an old relationship. It is a relationship based on trust between the leadership and between the people and that this relationship needs to be sustained, it needs to be developed, it needs to be given further encouragement. President Putin has invited the Prime Minister formally to be the main guest for the Eastern Economic Forum at Vladivostok in early September. And Prime Minister has warmly accepted this invitation. So this will be a bilateral visit that Prime Minister will make to Vladivostok in early September as the chief guest for the Eastern Economic Forum and thereafter for the India-Russia annual bilateral summit. And it is noteworthy that uh, during his meeting with the Chinese President Xi Jinping that the role of Pakistan in abetting terrorism was also discussed. Excellency, भारत में चुनाव नतीजे के बाद आपका मुझे संदेश मिला और आज दोबारा आपने मुझे बधाई दी मैं इसके लिए आपका बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ और जैसा आपने कहा आपके साथ आने वाले दिनों में मिल करके बहुत सारे विषयों में हम आगे बढ़ सकते हैं in fact said that we have a consistent position with respect to Pakistan. We uh, discuss all issues through a bilateral mechanism and we look for peaceful settlement through negotiation. We are committed to this process. The Prime Minister recalled that he has made efforts in this regard and these efforts have been derailed. The Prime Minister did inform President Xi Jinping that Pakistan needs to create an atmosphere free of terrorism and that at this stage we did not see this as happening as yet and that therefore we expect Pakistan to take concrete action on the issues that India has proposed, on the, in, the, in the areas of concern that we have flagged to Pakistan, that Pakistan should take concrete action in this regard. And back home today is the fourth day of the junior doctor's strike in West Bengal. The doctors on strike are demanding adequate security in government hospitals after two doctors were seriously injured by a mob at a Kolkata hospital following the death of a patient on Monday. And despite a four-hour ultimatum given by Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee on Thursday to resume work, the doctors have refrained from work stating that the agitation will continue. And services have been affected in emergency wards, uh, outpatient facilities, as well as pathological units of many state-run colleges and hospitals. Meanwhile, various medical bodies across the country have joined the protests over rising violence against the medical fraternity. The Indian Medical Association has declared all India protest day to day against the Kolkata incident. And health services at private and government hospitals in Delhi are also affected with the doctors deciding to boycott work today. Doctors and medical fraternity in Maharashtra, Hyderabad and Raipur have also joined the protests. Earlier on Thursday, Union Health Minister Harshwardhan condemned the violence against doctors in Kolkata and urged the patients and their attendants to exercise restraint. मैं यहाँ अपनी सिस्टर का ट्यूमर आई हूँ आँख में उसको ऑपरेशन की डेट दी गई थी आज उसीलिए आया था पर रूम बंद है आज डॉक्टर नहीं बैठे हैं हड़ताल पे हैं ब्लड टेस्ट के लिए उन्हें उन्होंने बोल रहे हैं आज हड़ताल है बताइए हम चक्कर काट रहे हैं कितने दिन से उसके इतनी दूर से आए हैं उसके बाद हमारे माता का डायलिसिस लिख दिए थे किडनी के प्रॉब्लम है उसके बाद डायलिसिस भी यहाँ होते हैं पर डायलिसिस हमारे नहीं कर रहे हैं हम गरीब आदमी हम कहाँ जाएँ बताओ सरकार से तो मेरा यही कहना है कि अगर डॉक्टर के साथ कुछ गलत हुआ है तो फिर आप कानून के कानून का सहारा लेकर उसको जो भी है जो भी मुजरिम है जो जिन्होंने ये किया है डॉक्टर के साथ उनके उनको सजा दी जाए लेकिन इस तरीके से जो हड़ताल करते हैं डॉक्टर ये तो बिल्कुल गलत है संवेदनशील भाव से इस सारे कांड के अंदर अपना जो व्यवहार है उसमें परिवर्तन करें तो सारे देश के अंदर जो मरीज सफ़र कर रहे हैं वो सफ़र करना बंद करेंगे मैं आज ही मुख्यमंत्री ममता बनर्जी को पत्र भी लिखूंगा, कोशिश करूंगा कि अगर मैं उनसे व्यक्तिगत बात कर सकूं, बात करूंगा। 
डॉक्टरों से भी मेरी अपील है रेजिडेंट डॉक्टर से भी दिल्ली मेडिकल एसोसिएशन के डॉक्टरों से भी इंडियन मेडिकल एसोसिएशन की सभी ब्रांचेस से भी कि आप अपना गुस्सा प्रकट करने के लिए सांकेतिक तरीकों का इस्तेमाल करिए जब आप हड़ताल करते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं जो आपको एक जिम्मेदारी मिली है कहीं ना कहीं जो आपने एक ओथ ली है डॉक्टर बनने के बाद उसका हम वायोलेशन करते हैं Anna colleague uh, Vipin Chauhan is now joining us from uh, RML Hospital in the National Capital. Vipin, uh, how are the medical services uh, hit in the Delhi hospitals? And there are also reports that uh, you know resident doctors met uh, with the Union Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan over their demands. What are the updates? देखिए ऐश्वर्या जिस तरह से वेस्ट बंगाल में एनआरएस हॉस्पिटल में जो मंडे को हुआ उस घटना के बाद वहाँ पर तीन दिन तक लगातार डॉक्टर्स ने रेसिडेंट डॉक्टर्स ने प्रोटेस्ट किया जिसके बाद कोई सरकार की तरफ से पुख्ता उनको किसी तरह का जवाब नहीं मिलने के बाद और अल्टीमेटम दिया कि चार घंटे में अपनी स्ट्राइक कॉल ऑफ कीजिए उसके बाद वहाँ पर पूरे देश भर में काफ़ी गुस्सा है डॉक्टर फ्रेटर्निटी में और आई एम ए डी एम ए के अधिकारियों से भी हमारी बात हुई है वो हेल्थ मिनिस्टर से भी मिले हैं कि जिस तरह से ये ब्रूटल अटैक हो रहे हैं डॉक्टर्स के ऊपर इन पर कोई ठोस कदम उठाया जाए या फिर कोई ऐसा लॉ लेकर आया जाए जिस तरह से काफ़ी समय से डॉक्टर्स बात कर रहे हैं बीस राज्यों ने उस लॉ के ऊपर अपनी सहमति दे दी है और बाकी राज्य भी लगातार संपर्क में है तो कोई ऐसा आ, कानून लाया जाए या कड़ा किया जाए जिससे डॉक्टर्स को थोड़ा सिक्योरिटी मिले या इस तरह की घटना दोबारा ना हो और अभी जिस तरह से हमारी डीएमए और आईएमए के अधिकारियों से बात हुई है डॉक्टर से बात हुई है उन्होंने कहा है अभी मीटिंग हो रही है उनकी और हेल्थ मिनिस्टर ने जिस तरह का आश्वासन दिया है उसके बाद आगे की रणनीति पर विचार करेंगे लेकिन अभी सभी हॉस्पिटल्स में इमरजेंसी सेवाओं को छोड़ दें तो ओपीडी वगैरह सब स्ट्राइक की हुई है डॉक्टर्स ने और जिस तरह से अगर मरीजों की बात करें तो काफी have been affected apart from the emergency units that are working the rest of uh, the facilities are not thank you so much for all those updates we'll keep coming back to you and bjp party bearers meeting is underway at the party headquarters the party's chiefs and general secretaries of all states and union territory units are also present in this meeting that is chaired by party president amit shah addressing the party members yesterday amit shah said that the bjp may have uh, notched up its best ever tally in the lok sabha polls but it is yet to reach its peak the party has also decided to launch a membership drive with the aim of increasing the members by 20% amit shah is likely to continue as the party's national president till the organizational elections are over and according to reports organizational elections will be held within 6 months uh, after which a new party president will be elected Our colleague Panchanan Mishra is now joining us on the phone line for more details. Panchanan, a very important two-day meet of uh, the BJP is uh, on at the moment. What are the uh, updates that you are able to get uh, regarding the organizational elections, and also an update on uh, the party president being chosen? Ashwarya, sure, basically uh, the organization, the process of organizational election has begun. and yesterday uh, party president amit shah uh, has took the meeting of the national office bearers uh, where the or the general secretaries uh, vice presidents of the party spokesperson and all the prabhari of morchas were present there and amit shah uh, they have said that uh, it's the process of organization election is has begun and it the process begun with this uh, uh, membership drive and bjp has targeted uh, 20% more members uh, uh, in compared to this present membership uh, of 11 crores so uh, this this was the phase phase 1 and the second day the bjp uh, there are, there are meeting is going on with the mm. uh, general secretaries organizational which uh, with the different states and union territories and uh, you know mm. that uh, the general secretaries organization is a link between bjp and rss yes. so they, they they play very important role and the role uh, their role is also on in, in elections because uh, uh, is to organize an election so they play very very crucial role and uh, for the yes. upcoming election also the, they are being discussed so hmm. it's a crucial meeting which is going on and the, there is will be official briefing around 3 pm all right thank you so much panchanan for all those updates sir and uh, now big story coming in from bihar where uh, the state health minister has said that 57 children have died due to acute encephalitis syndrome in the muzaffarnagar district in the last 22 days 
The State Health Minister Mangal Pandey visited SK Medical College and Hospital in Mazafarpur today to take stock of the situation. And out of the total number, 47 children have died in the SKM hospital, while 10 others succumbed at a private hospital. A total of 117 cases of uh, acute encephalitis syndrome have been reported in the last 14 days in Muzaffarpur. And earlier this week, a seven-member center's multidisciplinary team had also visited the state to review the situation. All the cricketing action, the ICC World Cup 2019 game between India and New Zealand was abandoned due to persistent rains on Thursday. Now, this means... Uh, uh, of course, the toss was delayed due to inclement weather and in the end, it was officially called off. And now this means that uh, the points uh, are being shared between the two countries, that is India and New Zealand. Both the teams remain unbeaten in the tournament. England will take on West Indies in Southampton today in today's matches. And the Rajya Sabha Secretary General today submitted a report on recommendations addressing... Uh, and anomalies in uh, rules and structures in the Rajya Sabha Secretariat. The committee's report was presented to Vice President M. Venkia Naidu. Recommendation. And after the recommendations were received, the draft recommendations were again put on the website to ensure transparency. And this was discussed with the employees and the employees associations. And finally, the report of the committee has been presented today to Honorable Chairman. Honorable Chairman has directed that we should implement the recommendations of the committee in a way that most of the employees and most of the employees associations, they feel satisfied with the outcome of the committee's recommendations and overall work culture in the Secretariat improves. And that is the wrap on this edition of Midday News. Thanks so much for your time.